interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it is just absolutely amazing. I know you posted on your Facebook page. I'm mm -hmm. sure you're getting a lot of uh, photos of the Northern Lights tonight. I'm getting some on my Facebook page as well. And do we have that graphic? Um, to show and there you go. So this is oh, wow. from um, one of our main anchors on our sister station, Tyler Henderson's wife, Alex Henderson, and she sent in this photo of the northern lights occurring and that is pretty rare for this region to have them this far to the south and it is because of a geomagnetic storm that took place after a solar flare and that's part of the reason why we're seeing the northern lights and this is something that could happen in waves and it's definitely worth you going outside to take a peek let your eyes adjust a little bit and then turn the exposure up on your camera on your phone camera for example to try and see those lights because it is pretty cool. Now, we may not get as good of a view as what they're going to see off to the north because it will be overhead from northern Oklahoma, northern Arkansas, and pointing off to the north, and then it's on the horizon here in east Texas. So definitely interesting and definitely something we don't really expect here in east Texas because we are in the deep south here. As we take a live look atop the Eagles Bluff Skyview camera in Bullard, of course, this is over the golf course. You can't really make out the northern lights there you kind of need a different camera shot so in downtown Tyler is probably a little too much light in downtown to see it but I was noticing a little bit of color earlier but that has since subsided the almanac for today 89 was the high temperature 56 this morning Close to normal on our low, we were actually below, but we were well above the average high temperature. In 1963, we set a record of 95 degrees. 35 was the record set back in 1975. And unfortunately, we have been very dry. I'm, we're very thankful for the mostly clear skies we have tonight, but we could really use the rain because we now have eight East Texas counties under burn bans with Trinity and Cherokee County being added today. And it's because of the worsening drought. Look at this. More than half of East Texas is now um, under some type of drought condition. Level two drought from Tyler, Mineola to Sulphur Springs, and then it's a moderate drought further off to the south in that tan and coloring and unfortunately I don't have rain in the forecast over the next several days and it's going to be a while before we get that significant rainfall that we need. Temperatures right now have fallen into the low 60s. You can see Tyler's already at 60 degrees at 63 in Longview and will continue to fall because dew points are very low in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Very warm and dry for us this evening and as we look at future cast slight chance of rain in north central Texas but it won't amount out to much and I don't think it's going Going to get here to East Texas as we get closer to Saturday and Sunday. There's your next front fronts going to move in and that will establish cooler temperatures to the region. So something to get excited about next week. I just wish that this upcoming front that's going to arrive on Monday would bring us some rain. Doesn't look that way right now. 58 tonight and then as we look at your high temperature tomorrow, 91 lots of sunshine and fairly dry over the next seven days. We'll be in the 90s Friday, Saturday and Sunday cooling off off next week with highs back into the mid to upper 70s and lows in the upper 40s and for Lufkin, Nacogdoches and Crockett more of the same. Lots of sunshine warm for the first three or four days and then cooler next week. Casey Isaac.